Hey guys, um, in a couple minutes you're going to see a really, really, really awesome Mopar that's in a garage. Nobody has seen it in many, 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 many years. So stay tuned. And this is a, it's a barn find, but the barn was a garage, but it's still a barn find. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. All right, guys, so we were driving around. We're in Southeast Pennsylvania. You guys know I don't tell you where because this is a privately owned house. And my friend Jerry Duffy, he sold me about a Mopar um, that he saw once and that he thinks it was here at this house. So I stopped and it's early morning. I woke up the, the gentleman that was here. Well, not woke him up, but feeding pulled in chicken. his driveway and he was feeding chickens and he looked at me like I was nuts. Wanna know why I was here. And I could barely, there's the feed for the chickens. Um, and then this is John, right? Yeah. So this is John. And so I saw this, this, the door for this was down to here. So all we could see was where it said Cuda. <laughs> and this is, it's not actually called Pink Panther on Cudas. I think it was called Pink Panther if it was on a Charger. This color was called. I think it is. Is it Pink Panther? Yeah, yeah. Or maybe Plymouth. I'm wrong. Plymouth. 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 Plymouth had maybe one of them. One of them doesn't call it Pink Panther because they didn't want to have to pay for the money to call I it that. I think it is um, this uh, 70 Cuda, right? So this 70, is a, a 70 Cuda. Yeah. And it's a 340, right? It's a 440. Uh, it's, it's a 340 four speed car. Okay. With I, I took the 340 four speed out when I was younger and put in a 440. Uh, high performance block with an uh, automatic transmission. So and I changed the rear. So a little bit about the car. how long uh, again, have you I bought this in '85. So you bought in '85. So my you first bought it. Car. I bought it on my first car. It was a Bondo piece of crap. Right. And you know, it was an impulsive thing. It was, wow, it was red with the black stripes and the Keystone Classics on it. Probably. The if we're talking the 1980s, because I'm a kid of the '84. So '85 here, I'm going to say. Under three thousand dollars. Nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred, guys. That you couldn't buy this back panel for nineteen hundred yeah, right now. Yeah. So this is one of those cars where, and I don't know what it is with Pennsylvania. Everybody who bought their car when we were in high school still has it, and I don't have any of my Chevelles. This is my first car. So this is first car, and it's a it's a a Cuda. It's the real, not the it's Barracuda. A, it's yeah, a Cuda. It's a, it's a Cuda. I can show you the VIN. So oh. I have the VIN, I have the, uh, the plate, the tag that came with everything on it. And, and, the, and the, I don't have it with me, but the uh, sheet, right. the build sheet, the build sheet there. has everything on it, everything that was there. And when you build it, you, like this is your first car. So that's when in life you decide, do I want to be a Chevelle guy? Do I want the Mopar My guy? My brothers were Chevys. Okay, so you want to be uh, different. They had a 68, 60, 67, 68 Super Sports and a 70 Rally Sport Super Sport uh, 396. Uh, Camaros. My right. father used to uh, have the Corvettes, 59, okay. 60, 61 convertible. So my family were Chevy guys. And you were like, uh-uh. And uh, I don't know what brought me into the Mopar. Uh, I think the Roadrunner beep beep back then. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, brought the kids in and I, I when I used to go to the shore, I would have my Roadrunner shirt with the beep beep next to it. Well, plus back then... And the Hemi. I liked the Hemi. Well, back then, Hemis were super rare because they didn't come in back no, in the play until the 90s. I like the how 90s. they were built. And yeah. they were original and that the spark plugs went through the valve covers right which you really never saw that so i did like a hemi i i wanted a hemi car but i you know but even back then having a cuda was like a kind of a step up from Mary because there was a, a friend of mine joe uh not joe uh i think joe i want to say i can't remember but there was a kid in school that had a brown one at cb east and brown one with wow. the tan roof he used to live up here in ottsville and he was like the only other Cuda. Well, there was a guy at CB West that had a 446 pack. And okay. he used to live on, right down the street. And I was always into that because okay. uh, it was a 70, not a 71. So. And there was a blonde girl that used to have a white one, white convertible that used to drive through Doylestown too. I kind of back remember. in the, Yeah, back Everybody, in the she never stopped, but she would always race past people. I don't remember who she was. I just yeah. remember the car. It was a white Challenger. I might have been a heavy. So this is, so this is a 440. Now, um... Did it have, was it a 440 originally? No, 340. 340, okay. 344 speed. 
All right, and, and then I I took this four speed out. Now, was there something wrong with it, or you just wanted, no, wanted or you just wanted to put to, the big I used block? To go to, they down, okay. And I used to go to um, Atco. Okay, Atco Raceway. Back in the day, but this here, every everything's. Done. So now you this, told me a little bit that you a, rebuilt the whole thing now, yeah, right? From scratch. This is that's the VIN that does okay. the 340 uh, high performance reach. And in there, you can see the clutch pedal. Okay. Still there underneath. Oh, the yeah. The rally dash. And it's an air conditioned car. So, you, so it was originally the four speed, and then you put the automatic yes. in for Change racing? Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 For, I put a uh, 3000 stall speed converter in. The automatic trans had that all rebuilt. And I, put a, I took out the 323 posi rear and put in a 410. Okay. So at 2,000 RPM, I'm pushing maybe 40 miles an hour, and the thing whines. You know, I was right. I was young, and back then it was uh, traffic like to track the like. Now, did definitely. you buy your Cam 2 gas right up to here? Up no, the, I just ran the 93 oh, okay. octane. Okay. You know, because I used to have that one pump of Cam 2 up above uh, Doylestown. I didn't do that. So this thing's been sitting. So uh, the interior is all redone. I redid all that. Um, you know, I don't have the electric up right. at the horn. Rim, it doesn't have a rim blow, but the stereo is not original. But right. But, I put that, I was stupid. But I, year I, one, and then you I put, put it the sun tack in, which all the kids from the 80s. Everybody had. <laughs> That's the first thing you did. You bought a set of headers and a sun tack. It didn't come originally with a remote mirror, but I did put one on. Okay. Stupid. You know, but I had the thing. I have so many parts here. Um, as you can tell, because it's been sitting. Right, you got shit. mouse poop And everywhere. I got an AAR hood for it, too, oh, okay. that I, I put on whenever. I just, I put the clips on it, so I take this metal piece off, and, um... And you put the poles on? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. the hood clips. Over there, I have another dash again. That's oh, a wow. complete AC dash with the, uh, cooler, with the heater cooler. And it's some, all these parts up here? Yeah. The original. And there's the 440. Right. That's, that's the cleaner. I got so many parts, you know what I mean, but, and here's, you kind of Look see it, that. it takes up the whole engine compartment, it's got, yeah. it's got the power, power, I oh, changed so that. you put power brakes on? I changed it, okay. it had four wheel drum, Okay. 11 by fours in the front. And, and would you, did you put discs? I, yeah. Okay. I put them off and put on original discs from a car. Oh, okay. You know, it's original. So I, way before Will, way before Willward. Yeah, I took it <laughs> off another car. I took okay. it off another uh, Cuda. Oh, okay. The whole brake system. So it's okay. original. That's in this car. It's not a, a repo, a or, repo, right. you know, aftermarket thing. It's right. All, it's, it's actual it's, Cuda parts. The valve covers again are whatever Morse type. Right. Things. Um, and then the, the thing you did, ignition. what everybody did in the 80s was we all took the cows off i don't I know everybody did and put a flex fan on yeah, everybody did sense. that too that was like the, that was like the third day you had at home the first time you had to yeah. work on a car you took the cow off never put it on again yeah we didn't understand cooling we just understood it was in the way that's the, yeah and we didn't nobody had electric fans unless you were in hot rod or carcraft yeah. magazine you might have had them but that's like everybody that's like, else you can't really see it but i put a chrome alternator on it which is kind of faded and it oh. has the you know, high performance coil right which i had to switch this over from points to electric Electronic ignition. Okay. So we put that electronic box in the back. So gotcha. that with, the, with the ballast resistor, those things fry whenever. Right. I do want to take this to the car shows, but again, it needs work. And I have the uh, road lamps underneath. For oh, racing. okay. You can't see them. Right. But I have the switch in there. On the back. Now you, the, and you, you now changed it. all the, the yeah, yeah, from logos. The and so yeah, this is the kind of thing, guys, when you're talking about them with the original tires and the 14 inch and. You know, they said John's had this since the 80s. 85. 85. So that's longer than most of you have been born. I know. I mean, this car, they get, this is what, a 70, right? Mm -hmm. So this is only 15 years old. So when John bought this. There were junkyards. That was like buying a 2012 it. car today. Wow. No, 2010 car today. Seven. 2007. Yeah, so 2007 car back in the day. And yeah. that's what this was like. And I am, it's a T title. Okay. You know what that means? Transfer? No. Oh. You, you, back in the day when they would have cars and you would sell it, Okay. You would, it would start from A being the first owner, B would be the second owner. So it's all the way to a T? Yes. Oh my and God. And I bought it in 85. So if I bought this in 85 and it was a T title, so you find out what number is T in right. the alphabet, I think it's 17 or something like that. Or and 18. that's how many people? That's how many owners it had before I bought it. Wow. So, and I think it was used for strip racing. 
So how many miles do you do you know? Sixty two thousand. Sixty two and that was sit how many miles did you put on it? Do you? Not many because I haven't driven it in so long. Okay. Uh, the hey. engine is the engine was rebuilt. We left me and my father left the um I think it's sixty two thousand. Let's see. Uh, me and my father okay. we when we got the motorhome engine we took off it was a 74 engine and we took off the uh the heads which were open chamber right and we stuck 67 i think 904 heads on it which are semi-closed chamber so we increased the compression from eight and a half to like nine and a half ten percent ten ten right compression because of the semi-closed chambers so they i think they're 904 or 906 heads so we changed the heads on there or from a 68 okay uh high performance roadrunner engine or whatever right and the bottom the bottom is off a 74 motorhome okay 40 high performance it says ehp on the they stamped the EHP. right so it's a high performance motor it's a high performance 440 bottom end right with the steel crank and a windage tray and then uh we put the the transmission's all rebuilt, automatic, completely rebuilt. Put a shift kit in it, and then we put a, thaw, a stall speed, 3,000 stall speed converter in it, so it shifts at 3,000 RPM. Did it come with a 727? No. Not okay. A, uh, nine, I think it's 904, whatever the, it came with an automatic. Originally, okay. that's why the, the clutch pedal's in there, if you saw that. Right, I saw that. Yeah, the clutch. And, so, and was it original four-speed or original? Yes. Okay, so it was a four-speed. Yes. Do you still have the original yes. four? Oh, so you still have the four Everything. speed for it. Yes. You just change it to go racing yes. with the automatic. Because okay. Because it's, it's a faster shifter. Yeah, it was so, it's what we did. Yeah. You know, who cares what it came Right. With? Yeah, no, the year one, everybody, I said, everybody took the sh fan shrouds off. We changed all the, we chromed up the car because chrome got you home back in the day. And repainting a car, nobody was thinking that in 30 years, the cars must be exactly, and, plus and how looked, fun would that have been? Well, back then when it was green, actually I bought it when it was red, but they looked too much like a Camaro. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I wanted to go with something that's a classic color for this year. They had the, the lime green. They had that banana yellow. Right. You know, they had the weird things. You could actually right. get one of these with the paisley paint. Right, right. You know, and I wanted something. I didn't want it to be green because it would look like a 70. It looks, they look a lot like a Camaro. They do, unless you have, like, the you billboards. You, yes. Yeah, if you had the Mopar, if you have the black hood, everybody knows Mopar is a black kinda hood. kind of looks like a 68, 69. It kind of does. Like, when you're looking at just this part of it. It looks like a Camaro. And, but then when you, when you look at, but if you look at it as a whole, and these things were so much wider. Yeah. That was the cool thing. They looked like they were the original TA, Trans Am cars. Yeah. Trans Ams were actually for Trans Am racing, not for, not like because of Smokey well, and the Bandit. Thing with this too, I could also switch everything. I have enough parts off a of 71 Cuda to put on this because they they're, they match. The right. Whole. So I could make the front end of a 71 Cuda if I won. Because back then you could, you know what I mean? You go to a junkyard and just take all And the you parts. get that different grill and you just yeah. put the grill just bolts in. All that. Yeah, so you Because you can get that in the junkyards back in the eighties. Right, for fifteen dollars. <laughs> now you can't even find junkyards and everything. No. Even now. Remember Bullocks used yes. to be up here? I, I was in Bullocks every weekend getting parts off cars. And I just was up goose, you know, or geese yeah. over oh, here. Yeah, geese a has a whole bunch of AMX and stuff, but they don't let you do the walkthrough anymore, I guess, because now the stuff I just did a walkthrough with well, them I last year. I get a um, a rear quarter for. I got an accident with my caravan, and uh, I need a quarter. I actually backed it into a tractor, right? So there's a place called. Um, it's up past Quaker Town, whatever. It's a pick your own. It's not, is it top. Vicks? Yeah, no. Oh, it's another place up in. Um, oh, up in above Quaker yes, Town. Yep, yes. I know where you're talking about. I didn't. It's, have... a, it's a get your own, but yeah. They said because of the way things are now, they won't you go back there. You got to use a hacksaw yeah. or whatever. Nothing electrical because of the liability. Right. So how am I going to get a quarter off a, a caravan? Right. You know what I mean? And he was so nice to open this up. Most of the people who have cars like this, especially, um, they are very protective of them. He's very protective of this. I mean, he has owned this since high school. Well, I, I'm assuming high school because he's, he's, he's about. So he just graduated. Just graduated. So he's had this car. It's not for sale. Don't even bother asking. He's got family members that will take it off his hands before you ever get a chance to look at it. But it's just a very cool car. And hopefully we'll come up here one day to visit my brother. And it'll be out on the road. And we'll drive by and we'll see it parked. And then we can stop and talk to him then. So thanks guys for watching. Remember, subscribe, hit the bell, all that kind of stuff. And then here's April. April. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one.
it says merchandise store right here, merchandise store link, you will see it says HTTPS forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with, and you click on that and it's going to take you here.